Hi everyone. Pornography and adult content have been a contentious issue in India, with the government and society grappling with the question of whether they should be allowed or not. While there is no blanket ban on porn websites in India, the government has taken steps to restrict access to certain websites that are deemed to contain illegal or harmful content. In this video, we will explore the reasons behind the porn website ban in India and the implications of such restrictions on free speech and privacy. The Indian government's first major attempt to block porn websites came in 2015 when it ordered internet service providers ISPS to block access to over 800 websites. The government cited concerns about the proliferation of child pornography and the potential harm to children. However, this ban was met with widespread criticism and backlash from the public and civil society groups, who argued that it was a violation of free speech and privacy rights. Despite the backlash, the government continued to take steps to restrict access to porn websites. In 2018, the Ministry of Electronics and Information Technology Meti, issued a notification asking ISPs to block access to 827 pornographic websites. This move was aimed at preventing the spread of child pornography and other legal content. However, once again, this decision was met with resistance, with many criticizing the government for taking such a sweeping action without proper consultation with stakeholders. The Indian government's efforts to ban porn websites have been driven by a range of factors including concerns about morality and cultural values, as well as fears about the impact of pornography on society. Many argue that the easy availability of pornographic content online has contributed to an increase in sexual violence, exploitation of women, and other social ills. There are also concerns about the harmful effects of pornography on children and adolescents. Studies have shown that exposure to pornographic content can have negative effects on young people, including a desensitization to violence and an increased risk of engaging in risky sexual behavior. While there is no doubt that these are important concerns that need to be addressed, the question remains whether banning porn websites is the best way to tackle these issues. Critics of the ban argue that it is an ineffective solution that does little to address the root causes of the problems. Instead, they argue that the government should focus on improving sex education, providing counseling services to those who have been affected by sexual violence, and strengthening laws to prevent child pornography and exploitation. Furthermore, the ban on porn websites has serious implications for free speech and privacy rights. Critics argue that the government's attempts to restrict access to certain types of content are a violation of individuals' right to access information and express themselves freely. They also point out that such restrictions can be easily circumvented through the use of virtual private networks and other methods, making them ineffective at best and harmful to privacy at worst. In conclusion, the porn website ban in India has been a controversial and divisive issue, with proponents arguing that it is necessary to protect society from the harmful effects of pornography and opponents arguing that it is a, a violation of free speech and privacy rights. While there is no easy solution to this complex issue, it is important that any measures taken to address concerns about pornography are based on sound evidence and take into account the views of all stakeholders. Still, if you want to watch porn, just turn on VPN and start your world tour. That's all for today. Thank you.